And we know you have a lot of questions on COVID-19 as the situation changes every single day. We're here to help and so is our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. She joins us live this morning to answer some of your questions. Hey, Dr. Coley, good morning. Hey, good morning, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. So the first question comes from a viewer who asks, how do people without symptoms spread COVID-19 if they aren't coughing or sneezing? Yeah, so with the SARS virus, actually, the virus replicated deep down in the lungs. So you actually had to cough or expel respiratory droplets in order to spread the virus. But the interesting thing with this virus is it replicates in the nose. And so even as we're talking, we spread respiratory droplets. And so for those people that don't have symptoms, they're not coughing, they're not sneezing, the virus is replicating in their nose and they're shedding or dropping these viral particles as they're talking. And that's why that social distancing is so important, because if you're not close to that person with within six feet, then it's unlikely that those viral particles will get to you. That's very interesting. And next question is from someone who asks, how long does the virus last on clothing? Yeah, so we've wondered this ourselves as physicians because we're wearing clothing that's going from the same room to room. And interestingly enough, it has not actually been studied formally, but clothing is a soft surface. It's called a porous surface, unlike plastics or steels, which are called hard non-porous surfaces. So we expect that it doesn't last as long on clothing as it does on harder surfaces, but we're still thinking probably hours to days. Now, the one interesting thing about clothing is we often have buttons or zippers that are made of either plastic or steel or some other material. And it can certainly last for up to three days as we found out. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to treat clothing as if it's contaminated. If you think you've been in contact while you're wearing your clothes with somebody who may be, you know, shedding the viral particles. Mm -hmm. In the same line of questioning, the final question is from a viewer who asks, do we need to take any precautions handling the products that we're getting at grocery stores? So what about the fresh vegetables? Uh, is it just washing with hot water? Would that be enough? Yeah, so the fresh vegetables that are not packed, I generally tend to use water and dish soap because we do know with our experience from hand washing and the science about the virus that soap is much more effective than just water alone. So water does get rid of some viral particles, but you really need that soap to inactivate that outer membrane of the virus. So if something's not wrapped, like bell peppers, tomatoes, or something like that, then I usually wash it with uh, soap and water. If it's wrapped like spinach, then I usually kind of just wipe down the bag yeah. with, with a sanitizing wipe. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for the great advice.